Sarah. I'm in my kitchen. I'm doing some fun things today with the pantry. I'm prepping my pantry. I get this ready and then it goes for months and I don't check what's in it. And then all of a sudden it's like it's time for inventory. We live in Minnesota and we've just come out of a blizzard where there's been 8 to 12 inches of snow, 40 mile an hour winds, ice all over, a mess, guaranteed mess. And it's really good to be prepared. <clears throat> Excuse me. The weather people have been broadcasting warnings about stay home, don't drive. Yeah, we know that. They say don't go to the grocery, go, you know, go now, don't go later, that kind of thing. Well, my grocery is my pantry, and most of the things in it we raise will grow here. Not everybody does, but everybody should have some kind of pantry in the event of weather or disaster or something. So, this week I'm going to be talking about how to stock a pantry and how to make it work how to keep it rotated, and have your family still be interested in eating. I mean, you don't want to eat a bowl of rice every day for the next whatever. You want variety, you want things that are nutritious, that taste good, that are pretty easy to fix. All right, so I'm going to be doing that all week, and I'm starting today with some beans, <laughs> dried beans. We grow these. These are pole beans. They're uh, pinto beans and black beans and red kidney beans. I like beans. You can make bean soup. You can make baked beans. As long as you've got dried beans around, you won't be hungry. And so I got out one of my first recipes on the black bean soup. Now this was just black, but now I use all different kinds of beans. It always has garlic, it always has onions, it usually has some like uh, maple syrup a little or a little honey, or even sometimes I like to put uh, molasses in it. I like cinnamon, I like clove, whatever. You can go online and get some incredible recipes for bean soup. All right, I store beans in big jars. We pick them, they go in the jar, they go in the pantry. They live here all the time. So whatever the weather, I can get out my trusty crock pot, put the beans in there, turn it on, and start putting things in it. It usually takes I don't know. The longer I cook them, the better I like it. I can soak the beans overnight or I can just cook them for eight hours. It doesn't matter. I, they go in there. And I try to make healthy things. Healthy things. I do make healthy things. I don't try. I do it. And it's just deciding, okay, what do we want? What can be stored in the pantry for a long time without deteriorating? And how to make it work. Now, when I make bean soup, I don't make enough for one or two meals. I'll make several gallons of it. Then I can freeze it in quart bags. So then it goes into the freezer. All right, now, whenever I want a hot, nutritious meal, I'll go down to the freezer and pull up a bag of my bean soup or chicken noodle soup or turkey rice soup, whatever I happen to make at that particular time. It's good, it's quick, it's easy, it's economical, and you're prepped. You're prepped in case of the weather really getting ugly. Sometimes it's good to plan ahead. That's part of the organization and the pantry. Prepping for your pantry. Alrighty then. Now, I'm going to talk about next time what I like to go with my bean soup, which is jalapeno cornbread, Texas cornbread. And it's got real corn in it that we froze in the freezer. It has jalapenos in it, which gives it a really nice kick, and some chopped up onions. All right, again, I'm gonna be talking about that, how to do it up ahead of time. I'm gonna get my good old wrought iron skillets because that's what I bake the cornbread in. And I'm gonna talk about that. 
Then we'll get into some spices to store, so things always taste interesting. With the spices and the herbs, your food is always interesting, and it's good for you, too. We'll talk about legumes, we'll talk about chickpeas, all kinds of stuff. Now, you can go buy cans at the grocery, and, and you can get a case of cans, all different stuff. But if you're going to do that, be careful. Read the labels. When I did nutrition classes, I used to take my classes on field trip, take them through a grocery store and have them read labels on cans. The sodium is usually way, way too high. They have things like corn syrup in them. They have a lot of sugar. They have MSG. They have preservatives. One of the things about working with dried beans or dried veggies they don't have all the additives. So for me, that's, that's what we do. Alrighty then, y'all have a good week and I'll see you soon because I'm excited about this. I really like my pantry. My pantry is my friend. Okay, bye.